hello guys welcome to the last video and in this video we're gonna just add our talent it will be just basically a plane with a chroma key and let me show you the workflow i do this so basically first thing i do is need to enable the media framework since this is the one i use and i love that key here it goes to plugins media framework and you just enable those and then you just need to go to your to your footage directory in this case i'm gonna use this footage which was kindly given by my friend dj thank you so much for that i'm just gonna import it out to unreal you can see it's ready there uh next step will be creating i uh, just uh uh, media where is it media then you add uh where is it where is it media bundle so you got your media bundle you set the name uh weather here in this case i save it and i just open it then the media source in this case will be file media source i'm gonna loop it and then path in this case i will double click on the video i imported and i'm gonna copy the file path and I'm gonna paste it in here I'm gonna save it I'm gonna save it then let me put it just this here and then I'm gonna drag my weather girl here as you can see let me go to there you go now I'm gonna place it in the scene so let me go to my scene of camera I'm gonna place it where uh, just focus them there you go so I got okay go here oh gee and there you go so let me switch back to my default viewport there you go uh, okay now the way i set the chroma key is just do double click on media boom bundle open the material editor just enable gear choose the gear i'm just gonna choose a key color i'm gonna choose the screen make it the screen and then save it let's wait for it to compile you can tweak it uh, let's wait for it to compile so after i compile i'm gonna tweak it okay so in this case still let's see still okay it's already there okay so now let, let me just play with the with this a little bit do my math let me just okay there we go So, okay. I'm gonna enable this bill. Then visualization of a picture is equal to zero. There you go. I guess you can see that the, the video looks very like you had a sort of echo or something like that i don't know um there's no more around to to that i used to fix that it was, i just wanted to drag the setting sex until it's a method to f fx a a and as you can see now it's a save now our image is fixed see but what happened? That antihilation method, you know, look how the reflections are. And it's not that good quality in this case. And you can see it got some flickering here. So let me explain. Okay, in this case, flickering issue first. Flickering. If you go back to our post-process volume, this flickering is caused by the screen space reflection so you go to screen space reflection and you set the intensity to zero and there you go now the flicker is out so as you can see the anti scene is not uh, that good because this is for mobile games and vr that's what i would do now go to the c 
cinematic from the camera and there you go now it's cinematic it look good uh, okay guys uh work around for the anti-aliasing and stuff using the temporal uh, it's a work around the um a group member called Siki Ten. Siki Ten is a really good guy. Uh, he he works a workaround using the composure. If you don't know how to use the, if you don't know the basic of the composure, I will leave a link in the description. But basically, this workaround is by just capturing your plane uh, and send it to a render target. So the anti-aliasing will be bypassed. So only we're gonna capture the the actor. So. When you got your composure plugin enabled, you just create a basic comp composite. Let me create an empty create comp. And then when you add your first CG layer, there you go, you get CG layer. When you go to your, to your class and you, you type capture, you will get this BP capture comp element. So I'm just gonna take this and drag it into my scene. And as you see, it's just, you know, it created a camera that attached to my current camera. So now if you go to the capture, hit B, now you see that ghosting is reduced. It's because of the frame rate. It's because the frame rate of my, by the way, okay, let's go. Now in my capture settings, you need, I just create a layer, which is kit plane. And I just took my card and just drop, drop in that layer. And then in the capture, the input, right in composure input, I'm gonna add a capture actor. Oh, it's already one. We'll go, click it, click it, and then I choose my layer, which will be kid plane. There you go. So now you see it's capturing the kid plane. And the output, make sure that you set it. You add an output to, to a render target. There you go. So I just created previously by going to texture, camera render target, and this weather girl. And I just drag it up here. And there you go. I got my render target. I'm going to set the resolution from 20, 1080. There we go. Save. And you can see our kid footage is being rendered under the render target. So this is something. So if I go to here and I press P, I will have it maximized. If I press that. Maximize. If I press A, it will show the alpha channel. So the alpha channel is having, it's not well placed. So you make sure you go to your project settings, alpha, and then where it says enable alpha channel, you make sure to linear color space only. Now it will restart, it will require to restart. You just restart it, save all. So we're back after a long, long loading time and shader recompiling. But now if you go to your, to, to our CG element, hit P, oh, I'm sorry, to our capture, and I hit P, and I hit A, you see now we got our alpha. So now we're able to, to compose on our composure. Camera, let me place this. Oh, sorry, let me go to camera. There we go. So, there we go. Let me place it right in the middle. It's okay. Yes. Uh, let me go back to the default. Our plane is facing the camera. Let's see. Oh, uh, yeah, it is. Uh, it's facing the camera. Okay, now in our CG element, what I'm gonna do, I just need to capture the background. I don't need the foreground. So in the input, I'm just add an element. And then I choose exclude. And then I choose my key plane. So there you go. Now if you hit P, you're here, hit P. Now you see we're capturing our background only. Okay? So. Now what we're gonna do is just, we're just gonna create add another element, so which will be another CG layer. In this case, we're gonna name it key or whatever you wanna call it. And then an input. Where is it? 
Very sim. We're gonna choose input. Oh, sorry, sorry. We're gonna delete this. We're gonna add a layer element. We're gonna add media plate key and input. We're gonna add here media texture input. We're gonna switch it to texture input. And then we're gonna choose our weather guard. And there we go. Now we have, if I hit B, so we can like, now we got our texture. So the blur is, you know, we gotta overcome that blur. Okay. So now I'm gonna make a com compose, a quick composition between these two. So in the transform, you can see transform i'm gonna add a calcium material pass i'm gonna create a new quick material and this will be material and this will be compositing or whatever compositing i'm gonna hit save it i'm gonna send it to my transfer pass i'm gonna open it up okay and then i'm gonna set this material to where is it? Where is it? Where is post process? There you go. Okay, now I'm gonna add a texture. Where is it? Data sample. Data sample parameter 2D. I'm gonna name it FG. Just foreground. I'm gonna copy and paste it. I'm gonna name this one. BG for background, then I'm gonna add an over. There we go. I'm gonna take the RGBA since it's the flow for RGBA for an RGBA and gem is a color. Now hit save, it will automatically apply after save it. Wait for it. There you go. Now in our material, now you see our element with FG with the foreground will be the key. If you name it FG, it will be taken automatically and the big background, there you go. Now I'm gonna go here, my cinema camera, and I'm in my composition, I'm gonna hit P, so I'm, I'm gonna place it side by side so you have an idea. So here I just press F11. Now you see the difference. See that here I got the costume and here the image is more clean. Now, if I just move my cinema camera back, let me set it, you can see that we still got the reflection. So, but the image is really good. So we gotta be careful with the camera movement since you know there is a little delay between it. So as you can see it, when the camera movement is so abrupt. So there you go. Uh, but if I go to my sequencer, let me see, yeah, I just previously created a sequence and I open it. And I hit play. And I play my sequence, you see it's always, it's also working on the composure. So that's basically it. So as you can see the color and other stuff, but this is just something that you need to tweak in the composure. So, but that's basically my workflow if you got any question you can leave it in the comments remember that you can support the channel by getting the set assets so it will help me a lot since it's a personal goal that i think that i want to get my pc or you know upgrade it so thank you so much for watching and have a wonderful day